All right, so for the first part of the little mini games here, there's a quest line for it called Crocs Water Canyons. It's four. And this one is for the Spino Blaster. Paimon's not saying anything. I mean, she's saying stuff, but she has no voice lines for this, apparently. Let's talk to this guy. I never imagined that you two would follow the sound of the broadcast here, especially after being warned. Pardon me, but this attraction isn't officially open to the public yet. Please wait a few minutes for me to make some final adjustments. What are you planning? I want to heard words that sounded super scary. Water cannons. Must be that huge thing over there. No, it's scary Look, just to look at it. What are you trying to do here? We won't let you get away with it. No, no, you must understand. I'm Chatlian, head of Project Spino Blaster. This project simulates naval battles, but much more fun and casual. Spino Blaster is approved by Lady Adia, so you know it's safe. If you wish to verify the truth of that, please see this document signed by Lady Adia herself. The suspicious engineer offers proof in the form of official documents written in obtuse legalese, all with Adia's distinct signature. The margins are even contain a few remarks and well wishes for Adia in, from Adia in her inimitable style. So, it's a project approved by Adia. You scared us half to death. So, what's the deal with the water cannons? That's just a simplified nickname. Its full name is so long that I'm pretty sure most people would go for something shorter based on its appearance. Anyways, its water bullets are completely harmless. At most, they might soak the guests standing near their target. Some guests enjoy the sudden coolness from being splashed, but some hate how their clothes stick to their bodies afterwards, and we don't want anyone to have a bad experience. So if possible, I'd like to post warning signs around the area. Pamela didn't think you were so considerate. That's a great idea. Now I'm curious. What's its full name? It's called the Crocomorph Vortex Base Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. The name accurately reflects both the appearance and its underlying principle. What is with you Fontaine people and giving things obnoxiously long names? Now you weren't kidding. Paimon can't even repeat it, much less understand it. But just calling it a water cannon kind of misses the point, right? Why not call it a croc cannon? The, the alterations. That's perfect! Simple and easy to remember, yet it captures the sound of shells whizzing by your eyes in a simulated naval battle. I love it! croc -a cannon Fire away! Krako Cannon! Bubble Ball Way! Are you serious? Paimon doesn't like being made fun of. After all, not only do we have great chemistry, but you, you'll get to enjoy the one-of-a-kind fun. Say, how about you two be the first to try out Spino Blaster? The rules are simple. Adjust the Krako Cannon and hit balloon targets with bubble balls to earn points. When you earn a high enough score, you can win prizes. Well, after all this hype, Paimon kind of does want to see what it's like to use a Krako cannon. Alright, count me in. Perfect, let me finish a few final adjustments, and then you can get started. Enjoy yourselves! An entertainment device that was inspired by the Spino Crocodile. It can fire hydro bullets that are safe and for entertainment use only. When the cannon fires, it will use reverse and or reserve ammunition, which will take a fixed amount of time to automatically reload once it is depleted. You can also engage in manual reload at appropriate moments during the game. Adjust the aim shot camera sensitivity in the control section of the settings menu to optimize your control over the water cannon. There are many kinds of target balls. Or, or the mommy? Nor Orda Normi? That's a weird ass name. Balls. Tiny Vantage Balls. 
Baraha balls, dual charged balls, overdrive balls, nemesis balls, and powder plus balls. I don't even know if that went across the order it was supposed to. Okay, now view the various unique effects of these targets in the stage specifics. Hit target balls successfully within a fixed amount of time to, will build your combo. Maintaining a high combo is key to getting a high score. Let's try it. Let's try Spino Blaster. There's only one stage right now. That's fine. Okay. Destroy to attain 20 points, 50 points. Deducts 20. That will destroy your bite top balls. Oh, that's a power up thing, like a superstar, I guess. Okay, so the one I do not want to destroy is the purple one. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I already read what they do. I don't even know how many points I needed for that, but let's see. I got gold. That means I should have all the rewards for it, right? Right? Spino Blaster. I can wait later to do these. Alright, so that'll be the end of the first part of this, which is the Spino Blaster, and I'll see you guys later!